So guys, a fifth company is now falling after cutting ties with Ye. We can say Kano is now getting their karma. If you remember, it was last week I did a video talking about Ye's friend Ali Alexander accusing um, Kano CEO Alex Klein of swindling money from Ye and also STEM player customers. Ali Alexander is alleging that Alex Klein, the CEO of Kano, um, allegedly stole at least $20 million from Ye. At the time, a few people said that, you know, you cannot believe what comes from Ali Alexander mouth. But also what I know is the fact that Ali Alexander, oftentimes when he speaks, there's some amount of facts to it, right? So now it seems as though it's coming full circle because um, um, Kano is asking for funding. Kano is Alex Klein. And if you remember, Kano is the company that created STEM Player. Um, Ye collaborated with them because after Apple was, you know, Ye and Apple had an agreement for him to release Donald 2 album. And it seems as though Apple wanted to get more money, you know, out of that streaming. And Ye was like, no, because, you know, there's one thing about Ye and that's he has integrity. This man is a man of integrity integrity and that is why maybe that is why so many people are getting their karma because maybe god is saying you know here is a man always being fair to people but still yet people are being unfair to him i will not allow this to go on because if you remember ye wanted to keep um kept the cost minimal um apple wanted to increase the cost and ye was not into the idea of you know apple screwing over his fans overcharging them so he was, he was like no he went ahead teamed up with Kamo, um, Kano and built stem player Ye had offered to buy the company out you know for 80 million dollars and Alex Klein declined but now according to reports Kano which sells hardware targeted at musicians and creatives is launching a new equity investment round that opens to the public after cutting ties with controversial rapper Ye. So they are doing this to save their ass because they need money. The article further states that Wes, whose legal name is Ye, collaborated with Kano on the startup Sempleo audio device and at one point had offered to acquire the company for $80 million. After a dispute terms and series of anti-Semitism outbursts from Ye, Kano walked away from the deal and in January ended its commercial agreement with Ye for good. Klein is hoping to look past the ordeal and is planning to use the funding to invest in development of, of a new product, the STEM headphones. That would be like what Adidas is doing, right? Because remember, after the collaboration with, um, after, after Adidas collaborated with Ye, they um, used his design, Ye sold his design through Adidas. After they cut ties, Ye was telling the world that, you know, they own those Yeezys design. They created the best-selling Yeezys design and people were like, Adidas, you're so full of ish. That's not true because why is it that you didn't have those Yeezys designs before Ye? So now, Kano is saying, we're mm. going to sell STEM player um, headphones. But why didn't Kano had STEM player before Ye? Mm. Do you guys get where I'm coming from? So it's given the sense that everyone is just out to, you know, take Ye's idea to make it their own and make money off it. But here, um, Alex Klein is telling people that we hope you, you know, invest in our company. How can you invest in a company that does not have a track record, right? This company does not have a track record of being able to, you know, finance themselves. So now, um, the um, company, Kano, right, they're planning to raise this equity funding from its users and fans. And this is what Alex Klein was talking about. Um, Ali Alexander, sorry. I believe that Ali Alexander found out that, you know, something was not as legal as it should be, right? Called out Alex Klein and Alex Klein said, you know what, 
let me do things the right way i'm gonna put it out i'm gonna go through the legal license etc etc not saying that he was doing it illegally before but maybe now that ali alexander has called him out he wants to do things you know straight and narrow by the books so now isn't this messy so now um Kano is planning to raise equity funding from its users and fans as the company tries to chart a path forward after cutting ties with Kanye West, also known as Ye. The firm will launch a crowdfunding campaign on Crowdcube on Tuesday. Kano CEO Alex Klein told CNBC, other users will be able to own a slice of Kano alongside its institutional backers, which includes Microsoft, a billionaire investor, Jim Breyer's, Breyer's Capital. So what I'm saying is this, if you have a billionaire investor, why are you going to your users, right? It seems, all right, I know that people can buy shares in company, but why are you going for crowdfunding? I understand, you know, you wanting to keep the brand alive, but it's given the sense that there's no stability here but what i would say to people is just if you're gonna you know invest do so with caution now to further continue this man is looking to raise nine hundred thousand dollars from individual investor in uk and europe the company also plans to expand the crowdfund to the u.s it will not work um alex do not come to the U.S. to try and get crowdfunding. You know why? Once people heard, well, people knows, right? People knows that he cut ties with Ye, said he was anti-Semitic. But something I realized that many people do not talk about is that after Alex cut ties with Ye, he wanted to get in touch with Ye. Ye wasn't talking to him because it says so Ye was saying, you know what? You cut ties with me because I'm anti-Semitic. That's it. But Alex was saying he still loves and care for Ye. But just imagine his way of showing it, right? No, you jeopardize your business. And this is what I cannot understand. All these companies consistently jeopardizes their business. And then they're begging people to build them out. I don't think that's professional. I believe that, you know, a professional business take risk. And cutting ties with Ye wasn't a risk. I believe that staying with Ye, because this is how you win, right? You win by letting an individual realize that, you know what, you may be right with what you say, right? But remember that no matter what you say, someone will always be offended. You have now offended a group of people. How do we go about fixing this? Let's go about fixing this, right? But none of these companies were interested in fixing anything. They thought that they could cut ties with him, rip him off, and still carry on. But... The powers that be say, not today, not today, Satan. The black community has suffered enough by the hands of you people, and I refuse to allow you people to use the black community, the black man, or the black woman. That's the end of it. This is enough, and it's coming to an end right here. So as such, we saw where Adidas falling, Gap closing stores, Balenciaga is no longer considered a top you know brand it's no longer in the rank of the you know high brands um so they're all falling and now kano well honestly if alex klein has done things by the straight and narrow path if he's doing the right thing i do wish him all the best but i do hope that he gets some structure in his business you know legalize things let things seem to be more profession more professional than it is um you know but at this point, I don't know. Let's see what happens to Alex Klein and Kano. But that's all I want to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks, guys, for your time, your effort. Stay safe. Stay blessed. See you all next time. Bye, guys.